Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Yuno Akise. And he or she says, hey Driftwood Gaming, how do I make a light source be able to turn on and off? And he's referring to the Terex lighting tutorial that I put up. So it's really simple. Let me show you how to do it. So basically you're going to make your lights, call it whatever name you want, but you'll put this in the note tag. So as you would normally put light and then the, the, the radius of the light and then the color of the light, you're going to add an additional space and then a number. You're basically numbering the light. So this is going to be light number one. We're going to make this event a parallel trigger. We're going to uh, in input a plugin command and the plugin command is uh, you go to insert new, tab three, go down to advanced and do plugin command, a box will pop up. Inside that box, you're gonna type in light on one. And this number will be changed depending on the light that you're, uh, that you're currently working on. Like, so this is light one, so we're gonna put light on one. Now we're gonna make a conditional statement. Now this is gonna be to how you would turn off a light. We'll right click insert new, go to tab one, conditional branch. And now we're gonna select a new switch. So we'll create a new switch called light off one. So when, and we're gonna hit okay. It doesn't need an else handler or anything. If light off one is on, then we're gonna insert another plugin command. This plugin command is gonna say light off one. And that's it for the light. Now, if you wanna be able to control the switches uh, or control the, the lights with a switch or something, you would do something like this. So we create a new image. This is gonna be our switch that controls the light. And at this movement route is just gonna animate the image so that it, um, looks like the lever is being pulled down when you activate it but basically all it really has to do is turn on the switch light off one so when you activate the switch uh, when you when you use the image that looks like a switch it, it controls a switch and and turns on light off one so then we're going to do a new page and on this page we're going to select the conditions for light off one is on so this time we're going to reverse the the movement event movement route so we're doing turn left turn right turn up that's going to make it go down and on this time, we're going to go turn right, turn left, turn down. That's going to make it go back up. And uh, on this one, we're turning off light off one. So this is controlling the switches. Now, this is just the second one. It's a copy of the same thing to let you uh, to show you how to do this with multiple lights. You just increment the number at the end from one to two, two to three, and so forth. Insert plugin command light on two. Make a conditional branch light off two is on. And then inside that conditional branch, plugin command light off two. And then the switch for this, same as the other one, exactly the same. Only thing that's different is we're controlling switch light off 2 instead of light off 1. But it's exactly the same. So let's take a look at that in game. Uh, ignore that opening event. Okay, so we have our lights. And if we hit the switch, it turns off the light. One second. Let's just pause that. So we got multiple music playing. And if we walk away, we see that only one light's on. We turn that switch off and it's off. Turn the lights back on. And there you go. They don't actually have to be next to each other. You could put the switch anywhere and it can control the lights. You can even have one switch control all the lights in the room. So hopefully this video helped you. Uh, thank you for your special request. If you have any more, put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did like this video. And we will see you in the next tutorial.